Hey, this is Andrew Brown from Exam Pro, and in this follow along, we're going to learn a bit more about storage accounts and how to copy uh, content back and forth using AZ Copy. So, what I want you to do is go all the way to the top here, and we'll type in storage accounts. And then from here, we're going to create ourselves a new storage account. And we'll make a new resource group. I'm going to call this one Fajo. Let's type in Fajo here. And we can have it in any location that we so desire. We're going to stick with standard here. General purpose two seems okay to me. And we'll go ahead and hit review and create. And then we'll hit create there. And I'll see you back here in a moment. All right, so now that our uh, storage account is ready here, we'll go in here and we'll create ourselves a container. So I'm gonna call this one Kivas Fajo. We're gonna leave it as private because we technically don't want anyone to have public access to it. Uh, and so there is a tool that uh, you should definitely know how to use called AZ Copy. So if I just type that in there quickly here and we go and scroll down, here are some versions we can download. So if you're on Mac, Linux, Windows, or et cetera, we can use it. I wanna try to give you a consistent experience on how you can utilize this. So I'm going to just try and stumble my th uh, way through and use it uh, via the uh, cloud shell because I think that would probably be the most consistent way for all of us to use it. So make sure you are in bash and we're going to need two things. We're going to need this AZ copy uh, tar file and we're also going to need some kind of file to upload. Okay. So um, the question is, how are we going to get things into our cloud shell? Well, the great thing about Cloud Shell is when you launch it, it asks you to create a storage account and we should probably be able to place those files into there. So if we go back to storage accounts at the top here and uh, we go here, this is a storage account. So if we go in here, if there were containers, we go back, but I believe what they do is they set you actually up a file share here, right? And so in here, it this is what it's doing. So what I'm gonna do is upload um, two files. So I'll just go here. And one is going to be uh, this, which is the Kivas Fajo, which is just an image. Okay. And what we can do is I will download uh, this uh, Linux here. And once that is downloaded, what I'm going to do is also uh, upload that. Okay. So I just drag that to onto my desktop. It's a bit easier to access. And I might just rename it so it's a bit easier to work with. So I'm just going to rename the, uh, the, the TARS GZ to uh, a copy here, if you can see. And uh, we'll go back here and we'll just go ahead and upload that, okay? So we will upload that as well. And it's only 11 megabytes, so it shouldn't take too long here. Uh, but what we need to do is find out where these files are. So what we'll do is make our way back to our shell. I'm going to type in ls. And I think it might be mounted here. So we'll do LS and there's our file. So um, what we'll have to do is untar the AZ copy. So we get the binary. So um, I have a handy dandy command over here from, I just found one over here because <laughs> I can never remember this command, the tar command. So we'll type in tar hyphen X V Z F and then the name of the tar. So I'm going to start typing AZ and I'm going to hit tab to autocomplete and that should uh, untar it. And so now we have our, um, oh, we made it into a folder. So I'm going to go into that folder there. And so now we have our AZ copy here, okay? Um, so just to make our lives a bit easier, I'm going to want to move that AZ, uh, AZ copy back one directory. So I'm going to type in MV for move. I'm going to type in AZ copy and I'm going to do uh, period period backslash so it says go or forward slash you'll go back a directory if we cd and do an ls just do clean again we'll do ls uh, we can now see that it's a bit easier to work with i'm going to delete the uh the, that long uh folder there because we don't need it uh, when it's a folder you got to do a recursive so hyphen r and we'll also go ahead and delete the az copy tar file okay and we'll do uh clear and then we'll do an ls hyphen la that'll list everything because what I'm trying to see is whether this file is executable. It appears that uh, we can execute it. If we can't, it's usually a good habit to do uh, chmod u plus x az copy here. And then if we run this again, um, yeah, it looks the same. So I think we'll be in okay shape here, but uh, yeah, now we're all set up to um, go ahead and use the az copy command. So let's give it a go. All right, so there's two ways we can get um, 
uh, or authenticate with AZ Copy. And if you remember from my uh, handy dandy AZ Copy slide, uh, we have two options, which is we can use this login or use a shared access signature. We're going to give both a try, but we'll start out with AZ login. Okay, so we'll do type in AZ Copy login. And what that will do is it will um, prompt us and ask us to sign into the browser and enter this code. So I'm just going to grab this link here and we will copy it. I'll make a new tab, paste it in. And once here, we'll go ahead and enter in this code, okay? And we'll just say, yep, Andrew Brown. And so now that is now synced. So now we should be able to use the AZ copy command uh, in order to use this, again, we pull up my reference here. We have AZ copy, copy, the name of the file, and then the name of the path we want it to go to, okay? So what we'll have to do is uh, in our container here, it's called Kivas Fajo, so we'll have to remember that. But if we go here, we're looking for that publicly accessible URL or that fully qualified domain URL. Um, I would have swore it was here. Um, oh, sorry, we're in the wrong storage account. By the way, we have to go into our actual Fajo one here, just in case. Just making sure we're in the right place. But let me just go find that URL. I can't remember if we have to assemble it by hand or if they just have it handy here. So just give me a moment. All right, I'm back. And uh, I had to pull up the docs for this one, which is not a big deal. Um, but the structure here is we're going to have HTTPS, the account, blob.core, windows.net, the name of the container, and the path to the blob, OK? So that's what we're going to do here. So let's give it a go and see if we can get it to work the first uh, time around here. So we are typing, well, before we do that, I'm going to type clear and then do ls. So we're going to type in az copy. And uh, the command is cp. Or actually, you can type in copy if you want. It looks like cp is abbreviation. And so the path to the file. And so in our case, it's going to just be local. So I just typed in k and I tabbed. And the next thing we have to type is https colon forward slash forward slash the name of the account. So it's Fajo and then blob dot core dot windows dot net forward slash. And then we named the um, container here Kivas Fajo. And then we'll type a forward slash. And then we can name the file however we want. So I'm going to name it the same as the JPEG. OK. And so hopefully this just works. And I mean, it looks like it worked pending. Says the file transfer might have failed here. Hold on. So it says we're not performed to other, we don't have uh, access to perform that there. So just give me a moment, okay? All right, so I figured it out. Um, there was one key thing uh, we forgot to do. So uh, the reason we were getting a 403 was as plain as it was, is we didn't have access to do it. So if we just go back to our uh, storage account there, um, and this is within the container. So I'm just going to go all the way back to storage accounts. We'll go into Fajo here. And so on the left hand side, you see where it says access controls, right? So if we were to go into here and we go to role assignments, we can see uh, what, what role that people have. But in order to access uh, blob storage, you need to like to be able to upload and download. You either have to be the storage blob data owner or the storage blob data contributor. So if you want to do that, you just have to go up to add and do a role assignment and sign yourself this role. Um, it does take about five minutes to take effect. So even after doing uh, at uh, doing this, adding it to my uh, user here, I wasn't able to do it right away. But after waiting a little bit here, I was able to go and do a test like with list. And it didn't print anything, but that means that there is no error, right? So we probably do have access. Another little thing I found out, uh, which was nice, is that if you go, let's say, into a container here, um, and then you just clear that out, we'll click into that container. And on properties here, it actually gives us the URL. So it makes our lives a little bit easier. So we don't have to type that whole thing out and try to figure it out. But let's go back and try to actually uh, do a copy now. So that's what we've been trying to do this entire time. So what I'm going to do is type in az copy. Uh, and then we want uh, Kivas Fajo. And then I'm going to paste in the URL that I just got from there. And I'm just going to put a forward slash here. I'm going to type in Kivas Fajo.jpg. Um, oh, you know what? We got to put the word copy or CP in front of it. And it looks like it completed. That looks good to me. And so if we make our way back here to 
um, to our container, we can see that it's uploaded. So there we go. We were able to upload it with um, Active Directory. So now let's go give it a, a try with a SAS, okay? All right, so let's give this another go here. And this time what we're gonna do is use an SAS. Uh, so it's as simple as attaching it to the end of the URL uh, for the, uh, the destination or the source, depending on what we want to do. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and delete this file here uh, just because uh, we already have it. And what I'm going to do is go back to my storage account. Um, and what we need is a SAS here. So I'll type it in here. I wonder if we can type it. the Oh, yeah, we can here. That's great. So I'll type it here at the shared signature to access. And we'll say, what do we need access to? Well, we're only using blob storage. So we can get rid of file, queue, and table. Uh, allowed resource types will be for container because that's what we're doing. Uh, and we aren't deleting. We uh, don't necessarily need to list, but we can have that there. Read, write, add, create. That seems okay to me. Enable deletion of versions. Um, Sure, I mean, we don't have to turn that off, um, but um, we'll just leave it in place. I think we will do HTTP or HTTPS, just have some flexibility here. And this looks okay. We have a few different keys, but we're gonna stick with key one. And so I'm gonna go ahead and generate out an SAS connection string. And so this is the token we want. See how it has a question mark? It's gonna help allow us, it's gonna be query string, allow us to put that on the end of our URL. So what I will do is I will, I don't know if we can write az co uh, copy log out. Let's see if we can do that. Oh, we can, great. So just making sure that it's not authenticating that way. And so what I'll do is I'll go back up to uh, this link here and this should fail, right? Because we don't have access, right? And so what we should be able to do is just take this string and place this on the end as such, and hopefully it just works. And it says done, done, done. So if we go back to our storage here, to see if that is uh, working as expected. We go into that container. Um, let's just move this down below here. It gets a bit hard to see when you have that open like that. Oh, we're in storage account right now. Okay, so we're gonna type in container, go here, click into uh, Fajo, and we don't see the file. So let me give it, let me give it a try here, okay? All right, let's give it another go here. Um, you know, I just don't necessarily trust the URL. Actually, it says fail to perform copy, no SAS token or OAuth provided, um, which is fine. But in this case we did, and we saw done, done, done. And so here are the values it's printing out. So maybe what we should do is just regenerate this out and be a little bit more uh, permissive. Um, and maybe that will give us an easier time because we want read, oh, this is slightly different, eh, for the container. Not sure why this looks different all of a sudden, but what we'll do is we'll go back here uh, we'll just go close a bit. We'll go back into Fajo. I'm going to go look for the container again. And what we'll do is click into the container. And then from here, we'll do shared access properties. Um, we'll do account key, which is fine. So key one, I want, I'm just going to put everything on here to make our lives a bit easier. The start date is fine. The end date is fine. We'll allow HTTP or HTTPS. And we'll join out that token. So here we have it again. So what we'll do is we'll just grab this whole thing here. Actually, we probably, yeah, we'll just grab the token. Um, and then what we'll do is make our way back to here. I'm going to hit up. And what I'm going to try to do is remove the end here and give this another go. Okay. So paste that in. I don't see the question mark on that, so <laughs> this is not uh, this is not an easy one. Okay, we'll put question mark here. Hit enter. And it just says stopped. Done. 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 So it makes you think that it's working. Clearly is not. Um, but let's just double check the container to see what's there. Okay. No file still. Well, what if we uh, grab this one here? Maybe it's an encoding issue or maybe it doesn't like the way we did the link. We'll hit enter, still says stopped. I don't know. All right, I'm back. So you know what? I thought I was doing everything right. And so just as a sanity check, what I did was I opened up my command prompt 
uh, and I installed a, just a different version of AZ Copy. It's the Windows version. And using the exact same command, <laughs> it worked. So, you know, I just want you to know, like, this is kind of uh, uh, something that I run into a lot with Azure, whereas if you try it one way, it doesn't work, but some other place, it works no problem. Just because Azure tries to support all use cases, uh, sometimes you'll be spending a lot of times uh, second guessing yourself. Uh, but definitely the command I showed you was correct. Um, but, uh, you know, it could be that the um, AZ copy version is out of date. So remember when we wrote an AZ copy here for Linux, it was suggesting to get a newer version, but I had downloaded the latest version. So, you know, it could be that. Um, it's really hard to say, uh, but I want you to know, like, that's just how you do an AZ copy. Um, and, you know, don't get frustrated if you get stuck on stuff like this, okay? So we're all done here, and let's go ahead and tear down our stuff. And uh, we'll just go to Fajo here. That's the one we set up there. And we'll go ahead and delete that resource group. Uh, and we're all done here, okay?